together take me back where i belong i want it all what is going on guys welcome back to the vlog today this is something i've been wanting to do since we got here and we're about to go do it right now but we have to stop at the store we got to get the goods we got to get to the lake we got to do the things so as excited as we are about this potential lake day there may or may not be a storm coming so this might not happen. I'm only just putting out positive vibes and positive thoughts. The guy at the the boat rental place, I'm putting our lives in your hands. Oh, yeah, yeah. You approved this. I don't know how Nashville rolls. I don't know how this lake is, but we're about to go find out. So we gotta go grab snacks, we gotta go grab the goods, and then, yo, this boat looks pretty cool. This boat looks pretty sick. We got the luxury boat. We got the Nashville luxury boat rental, and we'll show you guys as soon as we get there. Does this hat look weird with these pants? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe, I mean, yeah. better? I like that, like that. Okay. A little pop of color on the head. My jacket? Don't forget your jacket. I'm ready to go. <laughs> oh, you know, sometimes I just, marriage is so cool because you, you just pick someone to choose to do life with for the rest of your life. And you get to experience so many different moments with them that are so cool. Like what? what I don't know, you just make life fun. You just make life fun. And I'm glad to be doing life with you. I love you, Stinky. Now let's go to the lake. Also, last night we went to dinner at 1230 Club. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's like three different levels to this place. When you go there, go to the supper club, which is on the rooftop. Best steak I've ever had in my life. The truffle fries, the Brussels sprouts, everything was- They were crazy. It was insane. It's like my favorite restaurant now. I'm gonna have dreams about it. You guys have to go when you go to Nashville. Just trust me, you will not regret it. It's so good. My boy JT, Justin Timberlake, owns that. Yeah. And the live music, the live, the live music. music. It's like you got good food and you sit at a table and they just perform right there for you. Let's just say it was it was showering vibes, like yeah. just showering off the rooftop onto Literally. Broadway. It was just crazy. <laughs> All right, so far the weather is not looking promising. Got a little cloud cover. I see some of these big trees. Thank God I looked at Talia's phone because I would have missed my exit. Oh my <laughs> but it's um, it's a little breezy, so I don't know how I feel about that. Dude, there's Waffle Houses on every corner. I can't wait to try it. Have you had a Cracker Barrel before? No. Cracker Barrel right there? It's really good, but it's heavy. Never. It's really I've good. never been to Waffle House. I've never had Roscoe's chicken and waffles. <laughs> I've never had waffles. I've never had Roscoe's chicken waffles. We gotta get you some. Mm -hmm. You deserve it. How are you feeling, Boosh? Good. This is actually the most beautiful day. I know. It's I mean, really beautiful. Not the most beautiful, but the warmest. Yeah, it's been the warmest for sure. It's a little windy, but yo, the lake looks nice. It looks so pretty. I'm so excited to get on the water. Dude, let's go cruise. Bro, come out to the lake. Gotta get a pontoon boat. I think it's gonna be that one, which is sick. And they got me out here taking a test. It's like a 25 question test. I wasn't prepared for this. I wasn't prepared. I might be stumbling right now. So I just got done finishing taking my test and um, I'm gonna go see if I passed. We, not, we might not even be going to the lake today because your boy might have failed. But I think I passed. I grew up on the lake my whole life. I knew a lot of these questions, so I'm about to go find out. Guys, I got good news. Look at that. Certificate of completion, Roger. Boating safety assessment. Your guy knows what he's doing. I did it. I freaking did it. What do you think? This is I think cool. you should probably steer. <laughs> little tour of the boat real quick for you guys. We're cruising out. So not bad, not bad. For the steering wheel, Captain Raj. I have never seen We're a lake out. like this. Actually, yes, we have. We've been to Lake Ponderé in Idaho and that lake is so gorgeous, but this is so beautiful. There's so many trees everywhere. I'm used to Lake Mead where it's desert and I am a desert gal, but I gotta say, this is a lot more appealing. It is kind of cool. A lot more appealing. Go! Best fucking night of my life. Beat the beat up. Beat the beat up. You beat it up for sure. This is so much fun. I thought I wanted a wakeboarding boat and only that, but I would love a little pond too. This it's, is a blast. It's fun because you can fit so many people. I feel like you can fit like 10 to 15 people on this boat and just, and just have a good time. I actually got a delicious butter croissant from the grocery store and it's so delicious and I know people don't like this word and I don't like it either, but it's moist, it's good. <laughs> the weather was trying to hold us back, but guess what? Weather, you can't hold us back. Uh -uh. 
you can't hold us back. We got an army with the Scott fan. We were talking to the guy up front. He said there's no beaches, but he said there's a, so many cool coves to go hang out at. So let's go find us a cool cove. We just pulled up to this cove, dropped anchor, and I'm just kind of shook about these trees right now. It is freaking gorgeous. I grew up on a lake my whole life, but it was in Lake Mead. It was in Vegas, which is still a dope lake, but it's desert. I've never experienced something like this where you can float. And look at these beautiful trees. Like, look how gorgeous this is. I don't think you and I have ever really experienced like four seasons together. In my lifetime have I lived somewhere where there's four seasons. They do get snow here, but it's not like anything crazy. But they say it gets like really cold. The locals were telling us it's like literally freezing here. Sometimes you just gotta commit, you All know? Alright guys, Rogelli is jumping in without even feeling the water. I'm feeling it. Ah! You know what? Let's go to the back. Ooh, it's chilly! <laughs> Alright guys, in Nashville it's getting cold. So this water, I looked it up online, I think it's like 55, 58 degrees. That's cold. Ah! Oh, heck no. Is it cold? It's a little chilly. Is it deep? Huh? Is it deep? Yeah, it's really deep. Oh. I had a pee too. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. It's a man-made lake, so he said that below is only mud. There's only oh, dirt. Oh, that's why it looks green. So that's why it looks green. Gotcha. Yeah. Where, where, where? Right there, right there, right there, right there. Oh, there. You just leave him alone. He's chilling. What up, dude? Oh, what up, bro? Move it. Kill him. Ah! Go get him, girl. Get him, girl. Get him, girl. Yeah, there you go. Let him know who's boss. Let him know who's boss. So Talia just got done peeing, but she did it a little different than me. She went, I would say that was skydiving. You went skydiving. She went off the side of the boat because she didn't want to get in the water because it's cold. And uh, babe, all I got to say is I'm proud of you. When I return from my spinning ball, I'm remembering the words you told. Back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. <laughs> oh my god. You had one job, babe. I think you gotta break the whole call. Okay, okay. So I go, babe, just cruise. <laughs> We're in a cove right now. You don't know how to drive. You haven't drove ever. And, bro, she grabs the throttle, gets her little throttle happy, punches it, and then I fall back. And look, I land on the ice chest and I break the ice chest. Babe. Hey, you did a good job until you punched it, though. <laughs> you did a great job. I just, I did it for dramatic effect. And it clearly worked. Yeah, look, completely broke. Holy shit. I'm oh going flying. Oops. All right. All right, guys, we just got to cove number two. Whoa, bird, chill out. That guy almost dove on me. Did you see that? Oh, I didn't. Wow. But we're in cove number two. The wind is picking up. The white caps are getting bigger. So we're a little bit closer to where we got to take the boat back. So we're just kind of chilling here until we have to do that. But look how beautiful this is. Come back here. Anchored up. Chilling. I'm so glad we did this. Me too. I do have to say, this is probably like the highlight of the trip for myself. I agree. It's definitely been the best part. It's been beautiful. All right, guys. So I thought the storm was going that direction and it wasn't going to turn gray over us. But, 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 it's gray. <laughs> it's right above us now. There is no more blue. I'm scared. I think we should probably head back. Uh, to the I think we need to go back right now. <laughs> the sea was angry that day, my friends. That sea was angry! Yay! We made it back. We made it! Yo, it got crazy out there for a second. That was a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. But I had faith in you. I trust you as the a driver. The waves got pretty big. Yeah. Lake Mead or this lake? Okay, they're different. So different. So I love that Lake Mead's water is blue, not green. And it feels cleaner, but I love Percy Priest because all of the trees, it's way prettier than like the desert to look at. So I feel like they're equal. 
people. And they're, like, they're cool in different ways. Yeah, exactly. They're cool yeah. in different ways. Okay, so my opinion, man, I just being around trees like that, chilling on Cove. Gorgeous. We were just listening to music, eating food, having a good time. And you just look around and you're like, I feel like I'm in the jungle right Yeah, now. like we're not used to like trees like this. This is gorgeous. Even us just leaving here. It's like, look at this. Oh my God, there's a deer. You guys see him? Hey, bud. What's going on, buddy? Oh my God, there's two. Okay, that's also pretty cool. We're just leaving the lake and we see some deers. I Come know. On. What did we see in Vegas? Oh yeah, we saw donkeys, right? Yeah, wild donkeys. <laughs> cute. And then out here you see deer. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yo! This is like a legit rainstorm. I don't, I don't think I've really experienced anything like this in a long time. Or ever. This is like serious freaking rain. This is serious this rain. This is like a lot Guys, of rain. Guys, this is coming down right now. It is, like, it is coming down. All I gotta say is thank God we're not on the lake because that oh, would have sucked. That would have I'd had a wife that was really upset with me. Let's just say that. I feel like we've been on the move all day today. So I think tonight, maybe to wrap up our trip, this is coming to a close on our trip, which was so much freaking fun. So much fun. Like, this trip was amazing. It went so smooth. It was cool where we stayed, the food we ate. The barbecue sounds kind of good tonight. Should we compare chicken sandwiches? We should so compare chicken sandwiches. Should we do that tonight? We should so do Should we send that tonight? We should send it. Should we wrap that up tonight? Let's do should it. we conclude our trip Let's with some chicken sandwiches? I agree. Yeah, okay, we'll so. There's two spots in Nashville that are known for the chicken sandwiches, and it's Hattie B's, Hattie B's and Prince's. And Prince's. So word on the street is, like, the locals say that Prince's is better than Hattie B's, but they did tell us something. They used, the, the OG Prince's used to make their chicken in a cast iron skillet, and unfortunately that location burned down. So now they, like, deep fry it, and they guess it's still better than Hattie B's, but it's not the same. Same. We'll never know. Yeah. But. The girl at the front desk that you guys saw in our YouTube video who was dancing, she's, so she's the one that told us all about that. Yeah. And she's awesome. So she still says, even though it's not cast iron skillet, it's still better than Hattie B's. Give me a chicken sandwich and waffle fries. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, we just bolted in the rain. We're going to Hattie B's right now and it's pouring rain outside. What is it? Hattie B's. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, Hattie B's, we have a ride. Pickle cut fries with a medium chicken sandwich. This looks so good. So I got mine without the slaw and it looks like it comes with the comeback sauce on it. I don't think you need the pickle on top of that. <laughs> How are we looking? How are we feeling? Wow. Good? That is amazing. She is a chicken sandwich queen, so honest honest review, like one out of ten, like you've had some chicken sandwiches. What are we looking at? This is a nine. Nine point five. Wow. You heard her, ladies and gentlemen. Nine. With the sauce, boom, boom, cream of fries. I'll judge these bad boys. I love french fries. The perfect crunch and they're not soggy. This sauce right here, guys. That right there. That is, oh, oh. Crazy. That chicken sandwich did not stand a chance. That was so good. I can honestly go get another one right now. You want to go to Prince's? Let's go to Prince's right now. I could do it. All right, guys. Well, that is concluding the trip to Nashville. Aww. I had so much fun. So much fun. I feel like this is actually one of those trips where it went by like kind of fast, but not really. Like I feel like we got the most out of it. We, we did a lot this trip. Really Everything did. we wanted to do, we did this trip. And honestly, staying in this hotel was not bad. We've been in a hotel like for seven small. nights, babe. Yeah. You and me, locked in a little box. The trip's coming to an end. And last night, I'm not gonna lie, we just laid in bed and chilled. We went yeah. to How to Bees, which you guys saw. So delicious. Which was good. And then we just like hung out and watched TikToks. <laughs> and we just relaxed. We were just kind of like beat. I feel like we've been going 100 miles an hour yeah. in every direction here in Nashville. And we're like, you know what? 
let's just relax before our long flight tomorrow yeah. and catch some Z's. And we did. We slept for, we slept for like nine and a half, ten hours. Yeah, we slept for a really long time, and I know I needed that. So now we're just getting ready to head to the airport, and we're actually not going home. The traveling continues. The traveling does, in fact, continue. So you guys will see where we are next vlog. Next destination. All right, love you guys. Peace. Ooh.